Hello everyone. So continuation to the previous lecture where we are implementing two is two one marks using transmission gate. So here is the PPT where we are implementing this transmission gate having uh, two transmission gate uh, one and second where we are giving input A and B and these are the select line. So we are at the point where we require select line to be inverted. So it is S and S bar we need to apply. So S and S bar means we required inverter, and that's why we need to implement inverter over here. So before inverting, uh, implementing inverter, what I need to do? I need to take PMOS and NMOS where I have taken PMOS, which is connected in pull up network, and NMOS in pull down. I need to align it properly. So I'm taking this stretching tool, and I'm aligning it properly so that there will not be any zigzag. So now uh, in the same way, connect the VDD. So I'm connecting VDD over here. Again, VDD is connected to the source of PMOS, so it is connected over here, and the source of NMOS should be grounded. And that's why that is done. Again, take meter one and connect this drain terminal over here. Now, after that, I need to give input over here, and this is my output. So, what is input? Input is nothing but this select. So I'm taking this and giving name as a SEL select and I'm applying making it faster assign and output I will be able to check by putting I over here. This is optional you can uh, have this or you can remove this. This is just for whether results are getting properly displayed or not. Okay. So that is I have assigned. Now here I this select I I will be applying to one of the point and bar is applied to one of the point. So I will be applying this select to this point. So I am stretching this policy recon and from this particular point I am taking it out because that is the minimum path I require from this point to connect it to this particular part. Now now what we need to do. We need to connect this output at this particular point. So I am taking this, stretching this out, and over here I am taking metal one, and I am just connecting this particular output over here, and making this connection. But this is not connected, so I am taking this poly silicon, uh, sorry, poly silicon uh, metal contact, and pressing it over here. Now in this diagram, what is done? This particular transmission gate, which is input, is given as A, and this is the second transmission gate where input is B, and this particular points are connected externally, and this is over here. So, so what is this? That inverter is created to give select and select bar, and that's why here I am having this select uh, connected over here, and output is connected. That is the select bar at this particular point. Just let me know. As this is the PMOS, okay. So what is given over here? PMOS is over here, and this is the NMOS, and I have given, uh, given select over here. So select is one, so PMOS will not be on, and that's why when select is one, this will be off, totally off, and for select equal to one, this particular transmission gate will be on, and B will be passed. So when select is one. Select bar will be zero because if I am giving one, it is uh, getting as a inverted that is zero, and zero is required to turn the PMOS on, and PMOS is at the upper side, and that's why this will turn on, and this will also turn on because I have given zero as a select bar, so S will be one. So at this point, this will be on. So both the um, uh, PMOS and NMOS in the transmission gate will be on, and that's why this particular transmission gate will be on, and B will be passed. The same way, if my select is zero, zero, this zero is applied over here, so this will be on. This will be on means one will be applied over here. That's why this will be on. So for select is equal to zero, my A input will be passed. Likewise, this circuit has been done. If you want to change that for select one, I need to pass this, and for select zero, I need to pass other. So I need to change this particular A with B, B with A. That way, you can also do it. Okay. So just moving towards the waveform. 
So again, same way, just for the sake of uh, visualization, we have just taken select the bar over here, but whether, whether my select is changing or not. Means if I have given select as a zero, whether select bar is one or not, means we have implemented inverter properly or not that we are checking over here. So there is no any other uh, reason for that. Now again check, when select is one, so select is one, what is happening? When select is 1, B is passed as I told you earlier and that's why you are able to see at this particular point, you are able to see 1. But when select is 0, what is passed? A is passed. So you are able to see this A is changing and same is uh, 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 assignments uh, output you are getting over here. So in this way we can say that this uh, particular 2 is 2 marks we have implemented using transmission gate and it is working absolutely uh, proper whether uh, which uh, for the select line 1 I am getting my B as the input B input as the output and for select line as a 0 I am getting A just if you are interchanging the A with B and B with A so we will be getting like that for select line 1 I will be getting A and for select line uh, 0 I will be getting B likewise also you can do this so this way you need to do again maximum operating frequency Rise time, fall time, power dissipation that is mentioned over here. So you can uh, uh, perform this and take a printout uh, of this print screen and you can paste it in your format. So in this way you need to perform this. Again by keeping, uh, by putting that capacitor value, you can place this capacitor over here and with without capacitor values also for power dissipation, rise and fall time also you can write and you can complete this document. So you need to upload this document same way here I have just given that 2 is to 1 multiplexer using transmission gate so that uh, transmission gate diagram you need to draw over here properly with CMOS inverter because in this diagram we are having in this diagram we are having transmission gate structure as well as the CMOS inverter to invert the select line okay and this uh, diagram you need to draw over here so this diagram you need to paste it over here okay next thing you need to draw CMOS circuit whatever you have implemented that you need to paste over here then the waveform uh, that is the MUX output waveform you got rise time fall time power dissipation with and without capacitor that you need to uh, put over here and proper justification or reflection report what problems you faced how uh, you solve the issue everything what you like over here uh, what uh, things you know uh, understand after this so that you need to write over here in the form of reflection result or reflection uh, point or conclusion okay so in this way i am concluding this so this is the end of our practical three so complete your practical properly within time and do the things properly so i am closing here